Lori, aka Lori Has Hope, and this is Thursday, May 12, 2016, and I'm just here to chat a little bit. I made a video on my way to and on my way home from the clinic this morning. I had to go back and get or retake my blood test that I had taken last week when I was there for my three month follow up, he always has me take an A1C blood test. And that was the only test that I had as far as lab work, it was just the one blood test for A1C. Well, when I got the results, it had all kinds of results for urine tests, including a pregnancy test. No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> But I already knew that. Um, but yeah, even my doctor, when he put some notes down, he says, I'm not quite sure how the pregnancy test got in there. Well, duh, I'm 65. Um, no. <laughs> and also, I didn't do any kind of anything in a cup to get results for, you know, your analysis. <laughs> so anyway, my, so they've been calling me like, every day to come back and take the A1C blood test again. So I finally decided that I would go in today. I told them yesterday when they called that I would be in this morning. They open at 7. I got there a little after 8 and um, took the blood work or, you know, one little vial of blood out of me. And we talked and joked the whole time while the lab, young, handsome uh, lab tech was uh, doing my blood work and it doesn't even bother me I can watch them take the blood out some people can't even stand to look at it when they stick a needle in them but I'm kind of like a pen cushion I've been I've had a lot of needles stuck in me for different tests but it doesn't even bother me and he was so good I did it didn't even I couldn't feel it I mean it was strange but it was good um and it just took a couple of minutes and he wrapped but had me hold a little cotton thing on there so it wouldn't bleed. And I don't even have, well, maybe just a little bruise. And then he wrapped it up with blue um, tape or whatever you want to call it, that gauze stuff they wrap around there. He must have known my favorite color was blue. So <laughs> anyway, that's done. And I've already got the results. And I didn't get any pregnancy results this time or anything about anything other than my A1C test. And my A1C is 4.9. Yeah, and that's really good. I mean, I'm definitely not diabetic. Diabetic is 5.7 and up. And I haven't been in that range. Um, I don't know if I've ever been in that range. I may have been at one time because he, the doctor did tell me at one point that I was pre-diabetic. So I was either in that range or close. But, I mean, 4.9 awesome you know my hard work is paying off and yeah and and it's so neat when I go into anywhere and have to sit in the chairs to wait because I used to worry you know what, am I gonna fit in a chair am I gonna be sticking all out on the sides of the chair and everything and now I just gotta slip in and, and there's room on both sides of me and I can tell I mean I don't like to sound like I'm bragging but I can tell I'm getting smaller. I mean, when you're over 90 pounds down, it makes a big difference. And I'm still going down. And it's kind of slow, but as long as I'm still going down, it's all good. But yeah, I'm glad the deal with the blood test thing is finally done until August. That's when I go back for my next follow-up. Um, as I said, I did a video in my car going both ways, which actually probably didn't make a lot of sense either way. Coming home, I actually was experiencing fibro fog, which isn't fun. Anyone that has fibromyalgia knows that when you're in a fibro fog, you're not able to think clearly and your thoughts kind of get all jumbled up and, and you just kind of you know, go from one thing to another. Of course, I do that all the time anyway, but I mean, I do it more when I'm in a fibro fog. And um, 
So I just rambled for I think like 18 minutes coming home and I may post the video, I may not. That's why I'm making this one to do the update thing. And I'm at five minutes already and I actually need to get in there and make my lunch because it's 325 and I usually don't eat lunch after three on my healthy eating plan. But my breakfast was delayed because I had to fast for the blood test. So anyway, everything got kind of pushed back a little bit. But I've had two cups of coffee. I'm going to have another cup of coffee with my lunch. And I'll be good to go. I'm going to have an open-faced omelet that I make in my microwave in two minutes. <laughs> and they're so easy to make. I mean, I'm all about easy and convenient and all that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to make. And I find that I lose weight more often if I have an omelet for lunch. And I just put... Um, different um, peppers in it, sweet peppers. Um, you know, I, in my grocery haul the other day, I had yellow and green, and I think I said orange peppers, but I think they're actually red peppers, but they're the sweet ones. They're not the hot ones. But I did find out that uh, seasoning thing I got that was red peppers, uh, flakes or whatever, is, is, is hot, and I don't use that anymore. I'm going to give it to LaVon tomorrow if she wants it because I, I just don't like anything hot like that spicy hot stuff mm -mm. so um yeah i just kind of wanted to update you on my latest fiasco <laughs> i mean it seems like there's always something going on first the you know the deal with the driver's license thing going back and forth with the doctor's office and then i find out i get all these results for someone else that, and you know who knows who they those results were for i heard hope they found out and had them come back in and redo theirs also so everybody's got you know the right results but that's done and now I think I can relax and tomorrow's Friday the 13th are we excited um I don't worry about days like that I mean it's kind of crazy I think to be superstitious I just figure each day is what you make it I choose to make each day a good day and be positive and that's the way my day goes so I'm going to go in there and make my omelet and get my yogurt and my little can of low sodium B8 juice and my coffee and go eat so I will talk to you all sometime soon I'm trying to make more videos trying to hopefully build my channel up a little bit and we'll see what happens so I appreciate everybody who is watching me all my regular subscribers who are my friends and extended family and also my new friends that have subscribed I thank you all so much for watching and commenting and if you like this video please like it I don't know if I'm supposed to really say that. I heard someone say in another video, you're not supposed to ask people to like your videos. Why? I mean, I don't really understand why you're not supposed to ask. But, you know, nobody has to like it. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. As I was saying, like five minutes ago, that I'm going to fix the rest, or put my lunch together and eat it. So... I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Whatever you may be doing, be safe. And remember to keep smiling and keep a PMA. It really does help to keep a positive mental attitude. So I'll talk to you soon. Love you all. Oh, one more thing. I haven't cut my hair yet. I want to do the top part. But I haven't quite made, <laughs> haven't quite got myself motivated enough to do it yet. But I will, and when I do, I'll make another video and I'll make it in here, so it'll be like a, you know, so you can see it better, because you don't really, well, actually, you don't see me much at all when I'm driving because I like to show you where I'm going, and people have told me they really enjoy my car vlogs, so I like to do that. Anyway, I'm going again now, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.